Coach Mike, and welcome to 2015 Change Your Body Boot Camps Phase 5 Challenge Week. Today is Challenge Week number four, excuse me, Challenge Workout number four. This is the last one of the phase. And as we do with all of our challenge workouts, they progressively get harder. So this is the hardest one. This is the seven course challenge workout modeled after a seven course meal. So this is the one that you want to do before a Saturday night splurge or a Sunday brunch or after, but preferably before the big day, the big meal. The first six courses, you're going to do max effort in four minutes with one minute to rest. When you do these, I want you to do them well, just like you would dine and you would be present and presenting your best self and eating well, not chewing your mouth open, blah, blah, blah. You're going to do these well. You're going to focus on the quality. When you get to dessert, you wouldn't eat dessert fast, but you're going to do the, the, the dessert, the seventh course, as fast as you can because by then you should be pretty tired. Also, when you do seven courses, you feel it in the belly sometimes. So this is a big emphasis on core. Your core should get really tired. It should burn. It should get tired. Those are the two kind of main sensations. Burning, muscles burning, and tired in the midsection that you should be feeling as the workout progresses so that by the time you get to dessert, you should be like, you know, I don't really need dessert. I'll pass it. Uh, but today, of course, you want to do the dessert. Otherwise, we'll just have a good story about you not finishing. Here we go. You need a mat, dumbbells, that weigh 20 to 40 percent of your body weight. You need a chair, you need bands for external rotations, and band RDLs. So I've got half, one, and one and three quarter. You need a roller for pullovers, and you may need a wall for the back to wall shoulder flexion. Helen's got the timer. The first two exercises are going to be for your abs and your rotator cuff. We're going to do squat for us and band external rotation. Alan, you ready? Let's go. You're going to do eight squat for us. I've got my cheat sheet because there's a lot of things. Again, we're doing them well. All kneeling. Okay. Elbows against your ribs, heads packed. Ten times. Oh, brand new band. Love this. That would be two sets or one round. Today is a double session day. Two challenge workouts in one way. One day. On my workout card, I'll write two for today. If I walk to get my hair cut, I would write three. So I got a little extra cardio. Scapular stabilizers. 
because you're in a closed chain position. Your hands are fixed to the ground. So by doing your rotator cuff, your arms get tired, your stabilizers get tired. Because this is a density circuit, as many sets or rounds in four minutes as you can, you rest as needed. So the better condition you're in, the less rest you may need. Or the more challenging, if you were blowing this up, like if this was a squat thrust, and we were trying to get as many rounds as possible, you might need more rest because you're going faster. 30 seconds. I'm going to finish this. Second circuit, guts and butts, aka soup. The first circuit was cocktails and appetizers. So guts and butts, we're going to do linear hand fires, 10 per side, bent knee backside bridges, 8 per side. Again, max effort in 4 minutes. 5 seconds.
Very nice. Level two squat jumps, stick the landing, five reps.
<laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> Four rounds. Okay. Three, three, four. For those keeping score at home, that's ten rounds. That's the first three courses. Now it's course number four. Sexy traps and six packs. AKA entree number one, seafood. Hang jump shrug. We'll have two levels. And reverse crunch to hip lift. We'll have three levels. The jump shrug will do five. Reverse crunch hip lift will do five or five each or ten. I'll explain that when we get to it. All right. Five seconds. Hang jump shrug. Level one, don't leave the ground. Separation, anti rotation, lower abdominal strength, mobility.
Pipe goes over. Okay, that's six courses. I 
that two and a half rounds. Those were the go muscles and show muscles. The RDL was the go muscles. The shoulder press were the show muscles. That was your entree three, the meat. Okay, course seven. Are you kidding me? The finisher. AKA dessert. AKA you probably should have passed with your sixth course. You gotta do 40 burpee push up to a stand. Ha, lucky for you, there's no dumbbells. Seconds. 40. Seriously? Two. Level one. One. Walk out. Walk in. Stand up. Walk out. Walk in. Stand up. Level two. Jump out. Jump in. Stand up. Three. Jump out. Jump in. Stand up. Level three. Push up. Five. Five. Six. Yeah, Marissa. Good luck. 